Haven't had to do this in a while. There is, in fact, one new Pokedex update. But we're going to have to scroll all the way down. And by Pokedex update, I mean the Kanto Pokedex. At the very bottom, check it out. My Dragonair reached level 55 and it evolved into a Dragonite. With Dragonite's registration, we now have 149 out of 150 Pokemon regis registered in the decks. And for those of you who have played the game before, then you know precisely what this means for that final entry. But we aren't ready to take care of that. Not by a long shot. With that aside, what's happening guys? My name is Adam, aka Speedy Spectrum, and welcome back to Let's Play and Dub Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we revisited Mount Ember on one island and collected the ruby from deep within. Upon giving it to Celio, he gave us a rainbow pass because we need to find another gem. So now it's time to explore Four Island. But, oh, come on! Didn't we already deal with you? Sigh. Hey, Red. What are you doing here in the Sevi Islands? You should quit copying me, you know? Anyways, I already got my Pokemon egg, so I'm done with this island. <laughs> I bet you don't even know about Pokemon eggs. You'll never fill your national Pokedex that way. By the way, I saw someone we both know on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me? I don't have time to waste. Be smelling you. Oh, he's just as modest as ever, isn't he? Even after we defeated him soundly. But he did hint at something quite interesting. We'll get to that a little later, but for now, I want to make a roster change. I'm going to deposit Rasmussen because we're going to be encountering a lot of water and ice Pokemon, and Rasmussen really isn't going to be that useful. I want to withdraw a water Pokemon, and I want to check to see if Poliwrath knows Surf. No, it doesn't. But that's okay, because I still think it can get the job done. So let's go ahead and teach Poliwrath Surf. Now you might be asking, why on earth would I withdraw another Pokemon and a Pokemon that can learn Surf, of all things, when I already have Schneider. Well, the reason is simple. I need a Pokemon to serve as an HM slave, and I just decided on Poliwrath randomly. We're also going to be acquiring another Water-type HM very soon. And I don't want Schneider to learn it because I like his moveset as is. But more on that later. Right up here is the daycare man. If you give a Pokemon to him, he'll put it in the daycare. And as you walk around, that Pokemon will gain experience. Then you can come back to the daycare and depending on how many steps you take, your Pokemon can possibly grow some levels. There's also a mechanic involving two Pokemon that like each other and breed Pokemon eggs, but we're not going to get into that mechanic just yet. Inside this house are two guys, and if you talk to the one on the left, he is in fact a move tutor and will offer to teach one of your Pokemon Body Slam. I've demonstrated the capabilities of Body Slam on Overton. It's an excellent move, hits really hard, and has a 30% chance of inflicting paralysis. I might as well check the Mart to see what items they have. 
they pretty much have the standard items that we saw in the Pokemon League, so nothing of any particular interest. The same, however, cannot be said for this house. If we walk inside, we can see someone sitting down, and it turns out he collects stickers. So let's see what stickers he has. Or rather, let's see if he'll give us some stickers. He wants to know something awesome about us. Well, I know something that's pretty awesome. We were registered in the Hall of Fame upon becoming the champion. So the Hall of Fame stickers applied to the trainer card. Depending on what accomplishments you meet, you can uh, get more stickers on your trainer card. Nothing that really changes the course of the game, mind you, but eh, it's there. Alright, now here in this patch of water, we want to go ahead and surf using Schneider, not Polyrath, strangely enough. And this is a Stardust, we can sell that for some cash. Now in this water, we can encounter two new Pokemon, and once again, they are Pokemon indigenous to the Johto region. If you're playing Fire Red version, you can catch Wooper. Number 194 in the Pokedex, Wooper is a water and ground type, and it's only catchable in Fire Red, as I just mentioned. Wooper's got a lot of things going for it. Most notably, it's typing. Water and ground is one of my favorite type combinations. An immunity to electricity and only one weakness, which is grass, is amazing. Not only that, but Wooper's stats are respectable. As you might have gathered, it's a defensive water type. It can take physical hits reasonably well, but to balance this out, it is quite slow. It's an okay water Pokemon overall, and you can catch it pretty close to evolution. However, I should warn you, if you are catching a Wooper, make sure you have Water Absorb as its ability. Damp is really, really bad. But overall, it's a passable Pokemon. If you're playing Leaf Green, you will instead be able to catch Meryl. Number 183 in the Pokedex, Meryl is a pure water type, and interestingly enough, it was one of the very first Generation 2 Pokemon revealed to the public. Exclusive to Leaf Green, it's got tons of HP, and its defenses are pretty good. As far as abilities go, I would definitely recommend Huge Power over Thick Fat. But even then, Meryl doesn't learn many good physical attacks that can take advantage of huge power. It really didn't get good until Generation 6 when it received its fairy typing. But here, it's just a bland, average water Pokemon. You can catch it if you want, but there are definitely better water types. With that out of the way, what do you have to say? Chili. A slushy in the Icefall Cave. Well, at least he has his hobbies. So let us enter this chilly Icefall Cave. As the name of the cave implies, yeah, you can find Ice-type Pokémon in here. So we're gonna surf across and enter through this passage. Uh, let's go ahead and set up uh, some repels as well, because that's always a good idea. I only have five super repels left. I ought to buy some more. This place has a particular gimmick. You see that patch of ice? When you walk on it, it cracks. If you walk over it a second time, it will break and you will fall down to the lower level. We have an Ultra Ball. That's always nice. There is kind of a mini puzzle here in terms of where you want to fall down, and I believe you want to use this icy patch to fall down to the lower level. Yes! That's where I wanted to go. 
actually, I lied. That is not where I want to go. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it is. Because I came up the other side. All right. This is good. This is good. We want to fall through this patch of ice. And we're going to slide down and then to the right to collect the Never Melt Ice. This handy little item uh, can be given to your Pokemon and it will power up their ice type attacks, which is rather nice. So now we're going to fall through this ice patch. It's not a very difficult area to navigate at all. You just have to know where to slide. And up here is yet another item, which is a full restore. Always nice to have a few of those on hand. And right here, this item is what you really need. It is HM7 and it contains the move Waterfall. This HM is the reason why I withdrew Poliwhirl in the first place. Waterfall is an attack that's pretty much the same as Surf. It wasn't until the physical special split where it really saw use as a physical based water type move. Uh, we're going to get rid of Double Slap because, well, we really don't need Polyrath to start with. And Polyrath learned Waterfall. Congratulations, you're going to serve as our necessary HM slave. Okay, uh, actually I took the wrong route. What I really want to do is I really want to go back up and head out. We've done all that we can in there. And now we want to go ahead and demonstrate the capabilities of Waterfall. Up we go! Very nice. Speaking of which, I should mention the wild Pokemon that you can encounter here. There are three new Johto Pokemon to be caught. The first of which is Swinub. Swinub is number 220 in the Pokedex, and are we going to encounter it right now? No, it's a Dugong instead. Okay, back to what I was saying. Sorry, that actually... Uh, Caught me off guard. I didn't expect to find a level 53 Dugong. Anyway, not important. Swinub, number 220 in the Pokedex. It is an ice and ground type. That's a pretty unique typing, I have to say. Both are two good offensive types, and uh, it can learn some decent attacks. As its stats imply, it's mainly a physical attacker. But it's very, very slow. Its ability of Oblivious isn't too helpful, and it does have many weaknesses. It takes some skill to use, but I really wouldn't recommend it overall. At least not until Generation 4 when it got its second evolution in Mamoswine. Then it would be an amazing Pokemon. If you're playing Fire Red like I am... No, actually, we're going to wait for that. Let's mention the Leaf Green exclusive Pokemon first, and that is Sneasel. Number 215 in the Pokedex, Sneasel is an Ice and Dark type. Another unique type combination, and once again, both are really good offensive types. Sneasel is very fast and it has good physical attack, but much like Swinub, its abilities aren't that great. And what's worse is that its move pool really can't capitalize on its typing nor its stats. Sneasel is meant to be a physical attacker, but it just doesn't learn many moves that take advantage of it. Once again, it would be so much better if it had its evolution, as Weavile is a phenomenal Pokemon. Alas, this is Gen 3, and Sneasel kind of falls into the meh category. But even meh is better than what we are about to talk about next. If you are playing Fire Red, 
You get nothing! Good day, sir! But I digress. Delibird. Number 225 in the Pokedex. It's an ice and flying type. And it's what I like to refer to as an empty Pokedex entry. Because it is awful. None of its stats are above 80. Its move pool is terrible. Both of its abilities suck. And what's worse is its signature move, Present. Present works a lot like Metronome in the fact that it can have many different effects. Sometimes it will damage the opponent. But there is a 25% chance that your opponent will actually get healed for one quarter of their max HP. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Don't even bother training it up. Catch it for the Pokedex, deposit it in the PC, and forget about it. Are we clear? Good. Let's move on. Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in the cave. Do as I say, or you'll have me to answer to. Ah, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Red, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here, then selling them off. Are you ready? You take that one, please. What? what Who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? I didn't really need to remark about anything, did I? It's Lorelei. It's freaking Lorelei. I think her appearance speaks for itself. Once again, Rocket Grunts, nothing we haven't handled before, and their levels are a joke compared to yours at this moment. They still use poison types, and they really haven't learned their lesson. I really like the fact that Lorelei was given an expanded role in Fire Red and Leaf Green, because uh, she is in fact from Four Island. You can talk to the locals, and they'll go on and on about how they admire her and how cool she is, and I agree, I like Lorelei quite a bit as a character. You can even visit her house in Four Island and it's revealed that she loves stuffed animals. Who knew? <laughs> I never really pegged her as the stuffed animal type. But uh, this is a very easy battle. Nothing you haven't handled before. And like I said, you should be in the 50s range in terms of level. So, uh, it's pretty darn easy overall. Ha! <laughs> so despicably weak. You, tell me. Where have you taken the captured Pokémon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all! No way, I, I'm not telling you that! If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go, Lapras! Ice Beam! Ah, okay! I'll talk! The Pokemon are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There! I said it! We'll be going now! But I doubt you'll ever make it into the Rocket Warehouse. <laughs> Red, thank you. But this is awful. I was born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea those horrible criminals were loose here. Believe it or not, there is something rather interesting about this section of water. 
Now, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you can, in fact, catch wild Lapras here. Granted, they might be very rare, but I heard a rumor it was probably on Cerebi or Bulbapedia. I don't know, but I think you might be able to catch Lapras in this specific section of the Icefall Cave. We're done here, so let's go ahead and use an escape rope. It was nice to see Lorelei again because, well, she's Lorelei. Her presence really doesn't need any explanation. Anyway, we are done here on Four Island. So next time on Let's Play and Dub Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to explore Five Island. See you guys next time.